English language, there are nine true modal auxiliary verbs. Will, would, should, shall, might, may, must, can, and could. There are other modals as well. These are called semimodals, and we will be looking at the difference between true modal auxiliary verbs and semimodals briefly a little bit later on in this presentation. What are the main usages for the modal auxiliary verbs? In this course, we'll look at 11 of the major usages of modal auxiliary verbs. Let's have a look at an example of each. Let's start with ability. For example, I can ride a bicycle. Expressing my ability to ride a bicycle. Next is advice. You might say to a friend if he's ill, you should go to see a doctor about that. Deduction. Somebody comes in, they're soaking wet. It must be raining outside because he's drenched. You're deducing that it's raining outside, but you don't actually know. Obligation. I'm obliged to do something. I must finish this report by tomorrow morning. You might want to make an offer. Would you like anything to drink? Permission. May I leave work early today? Can I leave work early today? Could I leave work early today? And possibility. You can take a train from London to Manchester. You can buy tickets at the door or in advance. You'll see that we use can here for ability and can for possibility. We're using must for obligation and a must for deduction. So the usages are interchangeable. Now let's have a look at prediction. I think my team will win the league this year. I don't know that my team will win the league, but I'm predicting that they will. Prohibition. You mustn't smoke in here. Promise. What do people say when they get married? I will always love you. And finally, a request. Could you help me with this? There are many more uses, but these are the most common uses that you will need to cover when you're teaching English as a foreign language.